So hi there, we are going to learn uh, the different types of polygon. And to start with, let's ask the question, what are the types of polygon? Okay, so first we have the equiangular polygon. And what is an equiangular polygon? A polygon is equiangular if all of its angles are congruent. So what do you mean when you say congruent? Most likely having the same size and shape. Okay? So that is what we mean we meant by congruent. What are the examples of equiangular polygon? So here if equiangular polygon means having the same uh, uh, value of the interior angles, so we have the rectangle which we have 90 degrees. They are all 90 degrees because they are perpendicular to uh, the, the two lines are perpendicular to each other. And then we have a hexagon. Okay, so we also have a triangle. So 180 degrees, the total number of interior angles for a triangle is 180. So we can divide it by three because there are three vertices. Oh, by the way, in hexagon, since we have six, so you can uh, you can use the formula n minus two, where n is the number of angles or vertices or sides. So n is six and minus two, multiply it by 180 degrees. So six minus two, and then multiply it to 180, and that is 720 degrees. That's a total interior angle for a hexagon. Now for triangle is 180. A rectangle is 360 and then of course pentagon if you have five sides or five angles you can uh, n is equals to five and then you subtract it by two so that's that will be three and then you multiply it to 180 degrees and that will be 540 so in here in the pentagon you have to get the equivalent or the equal angles um, uh, of the vertices you divide 540 degrees divided by 5 and that gives you 108 degrees okay now the next type of polygon is the equilateral polygon now here an equilateral polygon if equiangular polygon uh, all angles are congruent in these types of polygon the sides are congruent Okay, so this is uh, what we call the equilateral uh, polygon. Yeah, I think by the name you can you can uh, know if what is congruent in this kind of polygon. So it's an equilateral. It is something ha that has something to do with sides, and equiangular it has something to do with angles, right? So what are the examples of equilateral polygon? First, we have a square. You, we know that square has equal sides, right? So we can say that um, we can name the sides like any 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 letter that you wanted. Usually we designate it as letter S, but in my example, I change it to A, but that's fine as long as they are all A's. And then we have the next um, polygon, which is the pentagon. Pentagon has five side so we penta means five so we call this pentagon and this kind of shape could have an equal sides okay so let's put that sides as letter b okay and then the next polygon is a triangle of course so we can have also the same sides for triangle and uh, i put it as letter c i named it as letter c then uh, uh, by the way, these are only some of the examples that we can have. So we cannot just get all the <laughs> polygons and then we'll put this in our presentation. So just for the sake of uh, you uh, looking at it and trying to understand the meaning, so I just pick some of those polygons, common polygons that you may, uh, you may know. So hexagon, we have six sides and it it's possible that a hexagon can have an equal number, equal length of sides. So let's put the let's name the sides as letter D. 
So there you go, these are equilateral polygons. And then next type of polygons, we have the regular polygons. So what are regular polygons? They are both equiangular and equilateral. So these are regular polygons. So what are examples of regular polygons? So we have triangle. So triangle can have the same sides and the same uh, angles. Same as with the squares, pentagon, and hexagon. And then we have uh, irregular polygons too. So what are irregular polygons? A polygon that is neither equiangular nor equilateral. So it's it's not their angles are not equal nor their sides are equal. Okay, what are examples? So if we have regular polygons with three sides, four sides, five sides, and six sides, we can also have irregular polygons with the name with the same number of sides. So like here we have irregular polygons. So there can be a triangle with three, uh, there can be a triangle with different sides, length of sides, and also a, a square, a four-sided polygon that can have different lengths of their sizes, as well as five sides and six sides as well. And they're called irregular polygons. It's just easy to remember because when you say regular polygon or equilateral, equiangular, they have the same sides and angles. But when you say irregular, it is um, from the word itself irregular. It means inconsistencies. So they're not the same. Okay, next type of polygon, we have the convex polygons. So I think most of, uh, uh, most of the students who are learning uh, geometry miss this particular uh, words no they get confused what is convex and concave let's go to convex first now, what is convex polygons this uh, type of polygons every interior angle of a convex polygon is less than 180 degrees so you may have a shape that all uh, vertices has a uh, an angle which are less than 180 degrees so it could be like 140 120 90 30 but it is never more than 180 degrees and if you have this kind of polygon if you're going to draw a line or if a line is drawn drawn through the convex polygon the line would intersect at most two sides so it can only intersect. So let's say, for example, we have a convex polygon. Now, all of these points or vertices, so every interior angle of a convex polygon is less than 180 degrees. Okay. Now, if a line is drawn through the convex polygon, the line will end, intersect at most two sides. So let's say, for example, we draw a line here. So if you can see, there are only two lines that uh, have been intersected by this broken line, uh, red broken line. What about on the other side? We can also have two lines. So at most, there are only two lines that can be intersected. And what about this? Right? So this one, and it could also be that one, and this one, and of course, the other side. Okay. Now that we know what a convex polygon is, just a, a, a review of what convex polygon is. So it has all, all the all the all the vertices or in a, in that polygon is not exceeding 180 degrees. And if you have that, you know, whenever you if you wanted to draw a line through through this uh, polygon. At most, it will only intersect two sides. Alright, now let's go to concave polygons. Now, concave polygons, what's a concave polygon? A concave polygon has at least one interior angle that measures more than 180 degrees. So, if a line is drawn through a concave polygon, the line may intersect more than two sides. Okay, so let's say this kind of uh, polygon. 
So if you can see this, one interior angle measures more than 180 degrees. And this is the angle that measures more than 180 degrees. Okay, so the condition is at least one. Okay, at least one of the vertices of this polygon measures more than 180 degrees. Alright, now if a line is drawn through a concave polygon, the line may intersect more than two sides. Let's try to intersect this line at this point, okay? Now, if you can see here, there are... Okay, let's count the number of lines it intersected. So we have one line, and then we have the next line, and then we have the next third line. And finally, four. So, therefore, this line has intersected four um, lines. Okay. So, I hope you guys learned something. Learn about the different types of polygons. In my next video, I'm going to discuss to you how how to name polygons, and we are also going to do a little exercise and like uh, identifying how many sides of polygon by identifying its uh, maybe prefix right okay so if you like my video please like and share and you can also follow me in my facebook page or join me in my community of learners in my learners hub page in facebook and uh, like and share also uh, on my Facebook page, which is Teacher Millie. Have a nice day, everyone, and happy learning.